When you hear the name Lockheed Martin, the first things that you would think of are space rockets and airplanes. These are just some parts of what they do. They have done a lot for their industries they are involved in, and until now, they are still one of the most successful companies in America with a revenue of $67 billion as of 2021. This is Lockheed Martin and why they are more than just aerospace. In March 1995, a finalized merger of two companies occurred, the Lockheed Corporation and Martin Marietta. The discussion of the merger dates back as early as March 1994 and announced its $10 billion merger in August of the same year. They have contributed a lot of products related to defense and aerospace. Lockheed was the company behind P-3 Orion Maritime Patrol aircraft, the Trident missile, U-2, the SR-712 airplanes, the F-117 Nighthawk, and the F-16 Falcon, to name a few. Some of the products that Martin Marietta produced during the 1990s were the Titan rockets, the Viking 1 and 2, the Space Shuttle external tank, and the management of the Sandia National Laboratories. The company was also behind the production of various satellite models. Since the company merged, Lockheed Martin operates the following, aeronautics, rotary and mission systems, space, as well as missiles and fire control. They don't just stop there as they also invest in compact nuclear fusion, renewable energy systems, intelligent energy distribution, and healthcare systems. Also, half of its annual sales are to the US Department of Defense. This means that the company provides reliable quality products and services every time that this big government organization has full confidence in purchasing defense and technology products from them. When you look at the bigger picture, you don't really hear them much often in the media. However, they are one of the largest defense contractors in the world. On December 11, 1997, NASA launched the Mars Climate Orbiter, whose mission was to study the Martian atmosphere, climate, and surface changes. This robotic space probe was probably made by Lockheed Martin. Aside from the mentioned functions, the Mars Climate Orbiter is also a communications relay in the Mars Surveyor 98 program for the Mars Polar Lander. Just when Lockheed Martin thought that this space mission would go smoothly for their space probe, it unfortunately lost communication on September 23, 1999 as it encountered the planet Mars on a trajectory, which made it too close to the planet. It's not for certain if the space probe got destroyed or escaped into an orbit around the Sun. After a careful investigation, it was to find out that Lockheed Martin did a major error in its development. The measurement software that they provided for NASA was incorrect, as it was using US customary force units instead of the standard metric units. The loss of the Mars Orbiter caused the company a loss of 125 million US dollars. While they were busy producing military products, it was not surprising that Lockheed Martin would jump into the hype of video games. Sega was a popular video game company that produced the world's popular video game titles like Sonic the Hedgehog. During this period, Lockheed Martin developed the texture mapping chip for the Sega Model 2 and Sega Model 3 arcade systems. Due to this chip, it was able to power up some of the most popular arcade games that were released at that time. If you're enjoying this story so far, leave a like and comment. For the video game fans who were curious about the games that benefited from Lockheed Martin's texture mapping chip, examples are House of the Dead, Virtual Fighter, and Dead or Alive. Around 50 arcade games were able to function and run smoothly all thanks to the chip. Although Lockheed Martin was given the task to come up with a graphic solution on Sega's then new system, the Sega Saturn, the gaming company ended their partnership and settled with a different graphics chip instead. We all grew up with arcade games and it's quite amazing to know that the software and technology that Lockheed Martin used for aerospace and defense related products have also paved the way for better arcade gaming experiences. Imagine if Sega didn't partner up with them at the time, we wouldn't be able to enjoy these nostalgic games to what it is today. Lockheed Martin's F-22 Raptor is the first fifth-generation fighter in the US Air Force. The company was well-praised upon this creation as it features modern avionics, efficient engines, and low observable technologies. It is so far unmatched by any modern military aircraft at present. 
While the company's other creation, the F-35, can carry 5,700 pounds of bombs and missiles, the F-22 can carry more than twice of the load. It's the perfect military aircraft to travel in times of conflict because of the amount of weapons that it can carry. Also, the F-22 is capable of thrust vectoring. To the US military, this was a great asset to have. Lockheed Martin included thrust vectoring nozzles in the aircraft which resulted to an enhanced level of maneuverability each and every time. There were some discussions way back that the US was considering the production of more F-22s as it is the best fighter aircraft they ever had. It is so far the only well-operated fifth generation they have to date. Aircrafts don't last forever. For the F-22, it has a designed lifespan of to 30 years and 8,000 hours of flight. It's no question that it is the most expensive fighter jet in the United States and also globally. If you are asking for the price tag per Raptor, you should at least have 150 million US dollars in order to purchase yourself one. Also, its company operating cost per hour is almost around 69,000 US dollars. While some people find the price of the Raptor to be a little too much for a military or government spending, it has proven itself worthy to be a reliable aircraft and without a doubt, it is one of Lockheed Martin's greatest creations to date. If you're wondering when was the F-22's first ever mission, this happened in September 24th, 2014 in Syria when it engaged with ISIS ground targets. With all the fancy stuff and features that these aircraft have, it's possible for other countries to get their own F-22, right? Unfortunately not. According to US federal law, the F-22 cannot be exported out of the United States. This is also a way for the country to protect the stealth technology and classified features that Lockheed Martin added to it. There were reports that Japan attempted to purchase the F-22, but rules are rules, they rather keep this beautiful aircraft to themselves. This is also one of the reasons why the government have trusted so much on Lockheed Martin. Since they nailed this aircraft, they are very much willing to partner with them if ever the company develops another reliable aircraft. With that said, the United States might have not achieved being named as one of the toughest military forces in the world without the contributions of Lockheed Martin. It is also a good call to keeping this beautiful aircraft exclusive. As a company, Lockheed Martin is one step ahead and they constantly research and create products that would possibly change the future. One of its biggest ambitions is to send humans to the planet Mars in about a decade with their Mars base camp. They have made a roadmap to support NASA's journey to Mars. To quote one of their statements on their website, Mars is closer than you think. We are ready to accelerate the journey. Lockheed Martin believes that there are still so many things to know about the planet and they are willing to develop software, technology, and features that would help NASA and ordinary citizens to discover more. This is another risky move, but the company has gone through this path before. If one project didn't go well, they will try again and improve. As long as they got a goal to achieve, they will do what it takes to make things happen for the benefit of science. Although these take years and a lot of money to make things happen, the future possibilities are what drive Lockheed Martin to do better in what they do. From a company that was almost about to fail, it took risks and has now become one of the world's biggest manufacturers for aerospace, technology, and beyond. So, can you imagine human beings living on Mars? Do you think we would be able to survive there? Let us know. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe.